for 2019. I'm Shane Ruman. And I'm Ben Downer. And we have a, an exciting match coming up for top eight. We have Alexandre Tessier on Dragon Keeper of Water versus... Uh, Matthew Beck on Phoenix, uh, but most interestingly, uh, Seeker of Void. And Matthew Beck is Al Algara on um, Discord. People play there. Uh, Alexandre is probably there, but I <laughs> forgot to ask his name, <laughs> his Discord name before we started. So sorry for that. Looks like they're uh, kind of, they have different methods of deciding who decides who goes first. So yeah. go with the, the D20. There's no standard L5 our way. Okay, so matchup wise. Uh, so Ben, how do you how do you feel about this? Who's favorite? What do you think of the big factors? Well, I think with Matthew being on the Embrace the Void, consumed by five fires, uh, that helps a lot. Mm -hmm. Especially with Alexander on Unicorn Splash instead of Crab Splash, there's going to be no reprieves. So he might uh, come late game have an issue sticking some of his characters. Um, so they might not be around for too long. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see here, here are the deck lists. Uh, here's Alexander's uh, Dragon Splash Unicorn. And Matthew is the only uh, Seeker of Void, Phoenix, uh, that was in the, the field of nine. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, but I think, I think it was a good matchup versus Crane. It's definitely going to be a good matchup here because of that. I think the only one Daimyo's favor I think is pretty interesting. I basically, you're, I think you're just mulliganing for it. If you don't see it, oh well. Uh, and you don't worry about it uh, later on. Or if you get a little value, that's fine. Oh, he's got Gateway to Mato. That's not something okay. you see every day in a, in a dragon deck. So it's got some real spice in this guy. Like, it's a, it's a unicorn splash. Yep. And apologies to Matthew. <laughs> We're not going to talk much about his deck because I think we've all seen it yep. over the many months before Seeker Void, oh. consumed by five fires. Yeah, there's the first flop. Okay. Um, so Satoshi from Alexander and Amitsu. Uh, but on Matthew's side, he's got the uh, Forgotten Library and a Scholar. Mm -hmm. So he's got some good holdings out early. He does. Good cheap character. He won't need the Ancestral Shrine, I don't think, in this matchup. Yeah, now that we've seen this as a more sort of standard punch, no, punchy, monk, punchy Monk Dragon. Nope. Uh, but um, Forgotten Library, definitely always good early. Buys a cheap Shigenja. Yeah. He's seen the deck list. He knows there's no Assassinate. Yeah. So he's only semi-noxious by putting two, two Fate on it instead of like three, four, uh, to make it stick the whole game. Uh, we get Agasha to Kyle. Okay, so he's choosing a uh, yeah, he's choosing a strong, a non-stronghold province to not be attacked. I wonder which I didn't, I missed I didn't the indication see. of which one it was. was uh, there's Satoshi? the uh, yeah, no, oh, no uh, it's Mitsu. One, Mitsu, yeah. Oh, okay, that's With interesting. The honor token, and he's it. banked two fate to buy like a fatty Mitsu next turn. I'm guessing. Maybe uh, Satoshi to get. Or maybe stuff from Satoshi. The I mean, again, that five fires. So he's gonna have to be worried about it. Uh, yeah. He has no uh, cancels at all. No defender nope. honor, despite being keeper. Non keeper and no censure. So. Yeah, I assume he's going to have to play around that the whole time, I think. Yeah, the province with Mitsu on it is probably the gateway. He's just using that. Uh, yeah, talisman. Yeah, he's that. running talisman. He's running to get it talisman, there, yeah. yeah. So he's using gateway sort of in a non obnoxious, non, yeah. <laughs> non game ending yeah. Exodia way. Yeah. Just getting value. Just to get some value from it. And he's got the Swordsmith, of course. Uh, we see an attack with Takayo. It's for military for two, uh, no defense, fire ring. Oh, big brains it in uh, on a two strength. Oh. Talisman yep. on the enemy's character. Okay. Because, I mean, you, you know, he's packing three let goes. Yep. Uh, I mean, not that he can't just let it go. Yeah. But <laughs> he only has a one fake character versus a two fake character. So. You see, Matt has the display. So he might. Uh, oh, uh, and he, he has it in hand. Yeah. yeah. So but he also wants the. Um, he Well, he went fire ring. I don't think that's a big deal. No. To display uh, the he sword. So he's planning to break it. So. He has the um, he has the sword, so uh, yeah, there's he's planning to display. break it, and he wanted to drop the talisman before it gets stripped. I guess yeah, yeah. for use for two turns. Yeah, we see a display of power on the fire ring. I mean, if I'm dragon, I'm not too upset by a display of power on the fire ring here. No, you you got a break. You got rid of the forgotten library. Yeah, you pumped Maybe. up that solemn scholar, yeah. you know, a little bit, but. So it's now it's a 3-3 three, three for three turns, all because of what you did. That's yeah. a little galling, but uh, it wasn't the Earth Ring, at least. Right? No. <laughs> yeah, that would have been rough. Although he's probably going to defend with the Swordsmith. I don't know if he'll be attacking this round. It's, uh, Solemn Skull is going to be definitely a problem round around round here. Yeah. Especially because he can play that with the extra fate, just because there's yeah. no... I mean, with one fate left, I'd be tempted to not take the Earth Ring this round, because you're first next round. And go in for it. And just 
or is he? Yeah, and just go take Earth Ring with a Fate next round because your Solemn Skull will still be there. Yeah, we'll see what he does. So, I mean, he could even go Void. There he goes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for a Mado, the deck having Mado, he, Dragon did spend a lot of fate the first round. They got a break. That's good. But it's going to cost some, you know, a, a fine katana on that to Kyle. Yeah. He's probably going to go aggressive here. I Do you think the Dragon? I guess so, yeah. He, it's true. He knows, he knows Five Fires lurking. He knows the long game is not his. The more Shigenjas, the worse the storms yeah. get. Okay. So we see it looks like a no defense. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, not breaking. And no defense on a, on the Earth Ring, because now the Swordsmith can't attack. Basically. So we'll see. Let's see what he does with the. Uh, oh, he talisman's over. Okay. Oh, he wants to uh, upholding. The upholding. Yeah. So I can see some luck goes in Matthew's hands. I think yeah. he might play the one on the talisman here, just to go down to uh, two strength. How many is he on? I I saw one. I don't know if he I has guess more than two one. in hand. Two in hand. Okay, so. You think? Oh, he, or he takes the other approach. He, he oh, he gets away as the swordsmith, and he's going to box against the wave his own guy, or is he going to use the let goes? Not sure. I think he, he might let go, or he'll just accept. Accept it. Okay, yeah. yeah, there it is. So let's go to the talisman. Now there's two tells. Oh, tells the other talisman was stripped because he had two of them. Okay. Yep. So now we're down to one talisman left in the deck, and two let goes on and my and my mystics. Oof. It's going to be tough yeah. for him to stick anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting place. Uh, I don't think he paid for that. But uh, he sticks a finger of Jade. Oh, no, he manicured, so he did pay for it. Yep. And he doesn't allow him to play against the waves on the Solemn Scholar, so that's an interesting. He's really investing a lot in the Solemn Scholar to get yep. it to break. We also pumped him up, so he's now able to break, break here. Break it, yeah. Yeah. So this is a, I mean... It's good to see the hand and whatnot, but with people being able to pre-play stuff, it's like it's a lot of investment for one card. Yeah. It's a card of your choice, of course. That's pretty good. But yeah, but he also gets to resolve the uh, <laughs> Earth Ring, so he can use the Scholar just in case. And of he course, has some with cost. of course with Kikud Nasawa, um, it's uh, any spell card. Yeah, any yeah. spell card you take out, it's not useful. Yeah, but he takes the let go. Uh, makes sense with all of his attachments that he wants to stick on his characters. Yep. yep. There we go. Okay, Shy Main comes down for the second attack. Oof, two out of three okay. is pretty good. Oh, okay. so he goes in resto. Yep. Did he see the last province? Uh, How did he know? Because he couldn't do the conflict at the Mitsu province. I oh. think he's assuming it's Mado. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Very yeah. confident by that, yeah. So it's good to get rid of Resto now, of course. Yes. Because he's down to five cards, I think, in hand. Maybe six. Oh, no, because he drew two, so I think he's six in hand. Yeah, he, he missed missed the other ring, so we'll see if we resolve it or not. Okay, another thing. Okay. So they're going back and doing yep. the earth ring that was missed because of all the action that happened with that <laughs> upholding. Yeah. Happens sometimes, especially first game in the morning. Oh, yeah. Nice and early for... Uh, <laughs> Okay. So I think really bad first round for Dragon there. Because um, yeah. we're going to go in with a honored Solemn Scholar with an embrace, uh, three fate lead for Scorpion, uh, for Phoenix, and uh, two, um, two Broken Provinces yeah. to one. So almost leading in every category, except for cards, because he had to dump them to Resto. But. Especially with the rest of it, it only hit one card. It hit the uh, consumed, which can just sit in the yard until he wants to replay it. No, I think he threw away two. I oh, think he, he threw also two? threw away, yeah. Okay. A sword, but but yes, I mean it's like the consumed is still in his hand, so so dragons deciding whether they want to keep the Satoshi or not. I mean he's not a power character on defense here. Uh, yeah, so he throws it away. Yeah. Do you think he's just looking for cheap characters? Well, and it's interesting. He defended that. He defended the like he used the Mitsu to, so Mitsu could not be attacked. But I guess he spent too much in the fate, more than the fate phase than he thought uh, in the in the conflict phase. So he actually pitched the the, the, Mitsu. the Mitsu, but he was protecting Mado, I guess, let more than Mitsu. Yeah, I think they just doesn't want to break on the Mado. He wants to probably reuse these swordsmiths to get a yeah. bunch of attachments. Yeah, but I mean to be fair, his two provinces that broke were the ones he wants to break. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the swordsmiths getting voided and then again coming out with one fate. It's pretty rough. 
now I get the five fires, so he's gonna be <laughs> keeping his characters around three fate on the board at all times. One embrace is on the uh, Solemn Scholar, at least, so you have less to worry about there. But not being able to buy any big tower characters is, or, or having to buy them underfated is pretty rough. Yeah, that's rough. So we saw, so we got some supernatural storms against the waves, two against the waves, a censure with favor. In yeah. uh, it's Swordsmith goes to Diggin. Uh, so an Adorn Baraka, Baraka and Katana. Yeah, so he gets a Katana because there's still two that goes out there, right? Yeah. And he's only on three fates, so he's thinking he probably yeah. might need to play something this turn to stop yeah. a break. And so uh, Phoenix is doing our Seeker Void thing where they build a board of really a ton of Shigenjas for to bring to bring the storm, as it were. Yeah. Uh, he's got Kadaka. Air Ring's got a fate on it. It's definitely a good buy. Kadaka does lots of good things for Phoenix. He's got a Mystic waiting in the wings, too, if any big. So that's that's rough. Yeah, the Katana was a great thing. Yeah. Uh, Domino Will's not going to help him much here. None of his characters are that big. He's got a Hurricane Punch for the Monk. He's got a bunch of military pumps in there, swords and Hurricane Punches. I don't see a Void Fist, though. I don't either. Which he needs defensively here. Okay, we see Kudaka heading in on the Earth Ring. Okay, so he's just Phoenix, you know, basically trying to take control, trying to eat. Trying to get uh, no fate on that ring, but still, he doesn't need it necessarily, and this gives him, uh, def you know, lots of defensive capability. Yeah, just turn on the scholar, stop one of their attacks, or yeah. make them overcommit on the bow. So I'm a fa I'm totally in favor of one assassinate in all decks. So this can be open deckless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially Although, into the phoenix, you can throw three fate on turn one ethereal dreamer if you see a no assassinate. And they do sometimes anyway if they have yeah. embraced the voids because it's kind of like a, a defense. Although I'll still assassinate it because that's two cards. But okay, we see a fan go down on Kadaka. Oh, so the swordsmith. Court games in Kadaka, taking him up to the breaking still. So are we gonna invest any um attachments in the swordsmith to uh try to pump him up? A seal a seal of the dragon, which which with box could get him higher. It's just it's a one fate, so it's kinda like, oh, how much to attach here? But then again, it's third break. I mean, yeah. your, your Mado's pretty useless if you take third break here, right? Especially with two talismans gone. Two talismans are gone, so yeah. maybe your Mado's never, never coming, coming never really going to come in. So, Especially with the Mia Mystic in the province for next Oh, turn. what did he get with the Earth Ring? Uh, good point. Sorry, I missed that there. Uh, I think it was Finger of Jade. That was a long time ago. Oh. <laughs> that was, that he was asking before. Before they, they, they noticed. Oh, okay. And eventually, it was the Finger of Jade. Sorry, I should check the, <laughs> check the comments a little more often. So you just use the box to uh, to bow. bow. Yeah, that's true. A swordsmith being Shigenja, awfully yeah. big problem, hard to invest. So a zero cost card to get him to spend the A against the waves is not terrible, but uh, it is unfortunate because now it's this defense is going to be very difficult. Yeah, it's already on stronghold with a big scholar. And I think I've seen at least one storm in hand, so he could get a plus two if he wanted from somewhere. I don't think it's worth it to start hurricane punching just in hopes of getting. A void uh, fist or something. A void fist. Or he doesn't have a monk in the conflict, so he'd he have does. To he also has seal a dragon. But he has to also play that then. He, he did. He played on the swordsmith. Oh, he did. <laughs> oh, he plays a finger of jade on the initiate. Interesting. And he does. Why does he do that? There's no assassinate in the in deck of the phoenix, phoenix player. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm just missing something here. Uh, I don't see any. Particularly directed things. It's uh, Earthring, so I think he just wants to keep it on. But on the initiate, I don't know if it's that useful. Know. Regardless, but anyway, Itchy Wayfinder comes down, takes a peek at Manicure Garden. He's obviously would like to get rid of that Mystic. <laughs> Again. Okay, so the Earthring. Okay, now <laughs> it's all over. Remembers it this time. Good practice. Uh, gets rid of the Braca. Okay, not playing that this turn <laughs> anyway. Uh, no, no, no unique characters to play it on. Yes, that's true too. Okay, uh, water ring's tempting. Air ring is not. <laughs> um, it's not going to get you much, and it is risky if you, yep. if you they win oh. on defense. Uh, he played the finger of jade for the scholar's ability. Right. right. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, of course. All the talk we did about the score. <laughs> right? uh, so I would say you go. I mean. I'd, Fire's not void is tempting, I guess, just to get rid of that, that pumped up scholar. Yeah. Um, so you void or water would be my choice yeah. here. Matthew's also showing potentially a display with. Uh, yes. So he might also be thinking like, what's 
He's on two display of power. He's only on so two. Okay, he's already played one. One, yeah. So maybe so I think I think that's a reasonable risk. And he, even then, I mean, water. Yeah, no, water's a bit of a disaster. Because Kadok will just ready. Yeah, and attack but Kadok can ready with another against the waves in your hand. So, you you know, you got a pretty decent chance she's readying anyway. Oh man, Shiba Jimbo is gonna be mighty annoying too. Yeah. No void fisting. <laughs> she can't just <laughs> initiate. Take him in. Put a fate on the fire ring. To try to tempt him to not take void, <laughs> and then, or not take not take air actually. Put a fade on the fire ring, and uh, see what you can do here. You have hurricane punches. You have. I mean, worst comes to worst, you just pull out with fable ground. But yeah. it's not like your character's worth that much in defense. After you honor it, you can pull out if you're losing. Yeah, and then just keep him for the stronghold defense. Yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be. Is it sacred sanctuary? Let's. See. No, it's uh, rally. Wow, interesting. He's got seal of the dragon, but not sacred sanctuary. Oh, he's got mana cured. Because he's yeah. Okay, interesting. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you do, have to I thought he could stand that Bissot Smith, but he cannot. It's because okay. he's on a keeper. He'd have to, or he's on a keeper roll, so he'd have to have a water province in the row if he yeah. was on yeah. Sanctuary. I mean, you could put Revels in the row. Yeah. Um, like like here. Like Phoenix has Revels in the row, um, which is not useful here, as Revels sometimes isn't. Kadok obviously being the highest cost character. It can be bad. Okay, so we have a... Currently a little poke. Initiates can get big on military, though. Okay, defense with the Scholar. Yep. So one to two. Uh, favors on, what's favor on? It's on military. Military so three. three. three yeah. Okay, so use the finger of Jade to not bow. So you're obviously going to invest in this conflict to, to win it. Uh, all starts with the Bonsai. Dragon's cards are draining pretty quick. Suspect Phoenix to pass here? I think so. Uh, the problem here is, okay, so he wins the water ring, right? I mean, use your against waves to stand Kudaka, but he could just bow the swordsmith again. Yeah. And the Ichi Wayfinder is also a Shugenja. <laughs> it's always dangerous yeah. playing Shugenja into Phoenix. So he draws a nice, uh, a nice uh, Grand Championship let go. Yeah. Off the um, Hurricane Punch, adds a sword. Heading north of five, so he could box for the break right now. Did he not have his Mount Zanville as well? Oh, uh, no. Mount Zanville Castle? Not as a prize, no. No, did, did he not use it to bump his no, he, Oh, he did, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's breaking? Uh, uh, he didn't really need that sword, did he? I don't think so. He was yeah. Oh, he played a supernatural storm, so we missed that. Yeah, yeah. it was it was five. Yep. So he w wins the water ring, and he plays Indomitable Will because um, well, he needs a defender, and <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, there's just a military ring. There's a military attack left. So yeah, Matthew's going to pass the second conflict. And then before, ready to attack. Uh, yeah. yeah. Or to Kudaka. To get the favor. Uh, or just stop uh, the third break from Dragon. Yeah. Because Dragon will be going first player into next round. And if he can break one province here, he might be able to, to yeah, try to, to break pressure the box. Yeah. I can see it. Um, I mean, you might as well take the fade off. Well, no, because if you attack air ring, that's the problem. Yeah. Interesting. You don't see initiates with clouds very often, but <laughs> I guess this game's going pretty quick, so yeah. you use them while you got them, right? Yeah. I can see him going void to take the last. Uh, yeah. Yeah, void makes void sense. Yeah. The scholar. If you can get the scholars void, you deny a fate and a, ca a pretty, you know, a decent character. So he's going to head into the manicure garden. It's sort of the fan. It's just good. It helps next turn, for sure, and the next three turns. <laughs> uh, so currently three to f uh, four. to four? Four to four, yeah. yeah. Second brace. Okay, second brace avoid. Just getting, you know, economic advantage here. So Dragon, for now, has a, a comparable board. But he's only got it for one turn. 
Yeah, and he's he's behind one break. He's behind one break, but uh, certainly looking better than it did first turn for him. Like that Domino Woe was big, uh, winning those two conflicts, getting the break was big. Yeah, but the uh, airing with two fate on it makes oh, it. Oh, Kanjo with. He doesn't have favor. Favor though. He does not have favor nope. though. Yeah, because that so that winning that second conflict was pretty huge. Kanjo's on a broken province, so that's a little cause for celebration for Dragon fans out there. Yeah. Oh, we get second and third Satoshis, naturally. So what's he got left to Satoshi for? Store, uh, uh, he can, just he's got a storehouse service. and the, the palace, right? Yeah. So not too bad. He could do it if he, well, if he really wants the palace, basically. But I don't think he needs it. Yeah. One century's been played. Kanjo's going to be going away. So it's a good break uh, there, or a lucky break uh, to uh, uh, deny favor on that round. Okay, yeah. so he gets a Daimyo's favor. Which will make, which will make the, everything okay? Oh, sorry, I thought. Uh, Damio's favor, uh, which will make, you know, uh, he lost the Braca, but he's got some other expensive stuff in there. Doesn't get the third talisman yet. Seal. Pulls a seal with the swordsmith, okay. Now we got a two-fate rare ring. Now, if there's anything been more juicy t to Kadaka, I don't know what it is. Um, especially on a rally, you got to pop it anyway, right? Yeah. So... And let's see, he's got a storm in hand for two, four with the box. He's still got, he's got a display of power. Yeah. I don't know if he's eager to use that display of power, undefended third break. It's not bad. Oh, okay. So Satoshi pops. Going to Mado. Gets palace. Okay, so he can lock down. I mean, there's two centers left. I mean, oh, there's the other Imperial card. So no more Satoshi <laughs> unless you want to lose five honor. He, he has two storehouses. So oh, does he? Oh, he sorry. Two, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's one more. Okay. Uh, I think there's also an against the waves in Phoenix's hand. Yeah, there's an against the waves, so he can like attack, draw some defenders against the waves, and attack again. So he's got to head to wander. If he, I mean, it's a hefty investment, but he could drop it on that ma big, uh, big military body there, and just go round. Oh, there's fable yeah. ground. It's no point. No point in using the the Tetsu wander. Well, the fable ground is sitting there. Yeah. I mean, you could try to deny. Grab two fate off the air ring and try to deny the Kadaka win, but air is not helping you that much. Like well, if you if you go in with the initiate, it's gonna be somewhat hard to win that fight for Kadaka. Like I eight, it's an eight strength attack. Well, we can see the display in Matthew's hand. Yeah. So I think yeah. Might, if if he goes air, he'll just play it. But you get two fate off the ring. They displayed an air, so he's only he's down one fate and card neutral, and yeah. you you caused him to to. I mean, it's not terrible, but air doesn't do much for you yeah. either. Um, yeah, probably the worst would be water on the display because then he can bow the uh, initiate. Yeah. If he Let's see what he does. Okay, so it's a big political attack. Bold. Okay. Bold for being down three Fire. bricks. But he's got the rally, so he can flip it to mill. So yeah. he can defend the first attack pretty well. But if he defends, he might have another Domino Will. How many does he have? I'm just wondering how he's going to defend. He's two. He's two, okay. He has two characters in this conflict, but I'm just wondering how he's going to defend his box and then make an attack. But if he has the Domino Will, he can do that. Yeah, the Domino Will, of course, sorry, would be used on the... I'm looking forward to the Stronghold attack uh, by Phoenix. Okay, mm -hmm. Conflict Chidaka. So he's using that big pile of cash. He's banked up. So, of course, new Kadaka. Um, it's disguised, but he's just played plain here. Can move cards from the discard and go fishing in the opponent's hand to sort of uh, look at X, no, X and then choose one. Doesn't wa doesn't want to lose <laughs> any good <laughs> cards. C Cloud goes down on Kadaka. Tadaka. We see uh, Satoshi hits the gym, becomes a monk, he has, taking uh, it up to tide. He can use the box if he needs to, just to get one more. Yes, to get one more. Yeah. Uh, he's does have another, he's a Daimyo's favor. He could just drop on Satoshi. Yeah. Why not, right? Yeah. Zero cost attachment. So he could get two more. But there's, uh, Storms are worth three. So if he chooses, Phoenix could yeah. shut that down fairly easy with a Storm box Storm. or. And there's table rules on both sides making that fairly strategic. Like you can't, kind of nullifying, you can't just favorable out your big Satoshi after you draw the defense, right? Yeah. Phoenix is down to one fade. They can pull some fade off the air ring so they can use multiple against the waves, I guess. That's their plan. This is for the fire ring, too. I don't... 
eating a fire ring and not a break is not the most terrible thing for, for Phoenix here. Oh, so he's just going to leave the conflict. So Phoenix should... I, I think... I think you could move back to die. either character and still, because of the storms in your hand, you'd be fine. So I definitely think you should move back one of the characters, right? I mean, Kudaka, uh, Tadaka is obviously bigger in both categories, so more generally useful. So I'd pull back the Tadaka myself. Yeah. Okay, so he moves to the Tadaka. Okay, yeah. so he, he plays a little safer on this conflict. Yeah, that way he still wins and he c they can't decide yeah. they or, yeah. or honor Satoshi probably. But. Yeah, yeah, I'd honor Satoshi for defense, but it just forces Dragon to play a card. To uh, That's true. Otherwise, yeah, otherwise you'd be losing on the tie, so. It's a seven mil. This would be nice to have seven mil for the crackback, but you have against the waves, so what are you worried about? Yeah. I think he's... Um, Looking at possibly playing the daimyos and then boxing then on the boxing server up to yeah. six, yeah. But you know that as you as less and less storms are played during the course of the game, you get more and more dread <laughs> 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 when you're playing Seeker Boy Phoenix. Oh. But how many Shigenja they're going to have? Right. So place the seal. Seal, yeah. So he uses box to play a storm in his discard. Pass, pass. Yeah. yeah, once the storm's played. Yeah. Eight is a lot to go at this point. Yeah, I mean, can it be anything but air ring yeah. here? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little poke, and then he can hold back. Yeah. Well, he knows this rally, too, for yeah. the open deck list. So he wants to poke and then come in. This is political. Okay, so he's, he's going to against the waves the Tudaka and come in for a big military if he doesn't have to defend too heavily. Oh, there's no defense pass on the political. Yeah. Interesting, I guess. I guess. I mean, uh, looking at his hand, that was a bit bold. I mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I suppose, you know, that's a bit risky on the Phoenix players to invest like that, but. Yeah. He okay, could have, so you know, two storms and he could have broke that province. I suppose you could have, you still have your box. So I suppose you could have dropped Tattoo Wander, dropped attachments, mm -hmm. boxed. But that's a lot of big investment for you, too. Okay, Tattoo Wander goes down on Satoshi. Yeah. Uh, Satoshi heads in military, not his forte right now. <laughs> no, I think but he's, he's going to use. He got the daimyo's favor, so he got the tattoo under for free. So he it's might covert. box here to go up uh, two just to get this break. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. but yep. here, I think Matt can just undefend. Yeah, he can display, and then he can ready Tadaka and just attack in. Yeah. Punches the. He went to the gym for a reason. Punches into yep. a punch. Classic. Yep. There's a display of power. <laughs> now he can mystic. I mean, he can mystic the... He can mystic the... Uh, well, he's, I think he's going to wait. He's going to use the supernatural storms just to keep the extra... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just mean he could get the last card. I don't think he's yeah. worried too much about it. But. No. But this is a mill against a big mill. Like, I don't... Like that's that's a he hasn't used box yet, so that's a nine strength to Gashi initiate. Oh, seven strength. It's not has never been honored. It has a cloud on him though, uh, so we can't honor him. We can't. So, but it's seven strength with the box and and favor. It's and eight. Favor, so eight. Yeah. But and he's no cards in hand. Uh, one card in hand. So if he. It's a punch. He, I think. Oh, it's a punch. Okay, so. I think that. I think I think the punch is what got thrown out. Okay. I don't think it is. So. I, if he can get to 14, he'll break, I think. Drops the sword on, so he's very close. He's going to probably storm. and oh, then he's got a storm. And Mystic to get rid of one of the swords. He can Mystic to get rid of a sword. He can drop an Ancient Master. Yeah. And I think that's all, all the pumps he has. So, yeah, it's all. It's it's like, other than a Bonsai, I think it's done. Oh, <laughs> it, was, okay. it was a Bonsai with the other one. They're forgetting favor, aren't they? It's on political favor. Oh, it's political. Sorry, I thought it was red. It's red. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Blow up a sword, and that'll be that. Yeah. Okay. Well played by yep. both opponents. By both players. Um, Phoenix uh, comes out on top in a quicker game than I thought. Yeah. It was, it was a lot quicker than I thought. Yeah. Especially with Turn four. A lot of yeah. Yeah. With Matthew's five fires and braces, but yeah. he he able to uh, 
just Super. leverage the stands on some pretty big characters. Plus, he and he had characters just last longer on the board, right? Yeah. You could have saved, yeah. He could have yeah. saved the tattoo for defense, but the, it's one of those things where you don't doesn't get you that much farther. Like, because next round you'll have he'll still have that board. Yeah. You'll have just Satoshi, yeah. et cetera, et cetera, right? And, and he's, he's going first, first. Yeah. yeah. And rally's popped. Yeah. With the, with a storm in the yard, so. I mean, he could buy two shugs next turn. I bet. Yeah. To probably to a cheap one and maybe expensive one. Yeah, because he needed the void fists. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he had Gishitoshi coming up, yeah. so that would, that would have sealed it. <laughs> Going first, Gishitoshi, like. Yeah, could just shut them down. Unless it was clouded, but there's no. Shock.